Ruby from World Fly for Food. I'm in Mong Bai right now, and I'm about to go meet uh, Shai Les of our chef's tour. And we're going to take him on the Mumbai Secret Street. I took the train to the fort area, the financial heart of Mumbai. It's home to beautiful Gothic buildings and a rich Art Deco heritage. Today's tour with Shai Lef started here with a cool, refreshing glass of masala lime soda to prep our tummies for all the food we'll be eating. I followed Shailesh to a famous restaurant that serves regional cuisine from the southern Indian state of Kerala. There I tried sadia, a spread of vegetarian dishes served on a banana leaf. I will serve 8 to 10 small dishes consisting of rice, papadam, and a variety of vegetarian curries, all of which you're traditionally meant to eat by hand. I did, and it was delicious. Next up was this Persian bakery located in a heritage building that's well over 100 years old. They are one of the oldest and most beloved bakeries in Mumbai, known for serving a type of fresh apple pie, the likes of which you've probably never seen before. After the bakery, we walked to this stall selling pan. Pan is a popular street food snack made by topping beet leaf with a mound of exotic ingredients like rose petal preserves, seeds, nuts, banana syrup, coconut shavings, and spices. It's then rolled up so you can eat it all in one bite. Sweet, savory, spicy, and everything in between, it's absolutely packed with flavor and one of the most interesting things I ate in India. After being mesmerized by the pan, we made our way to Churchgate Station to catch a train to our next stop, Chaupati Beach. Along the way, Shailesh would show kindness to a stranger and take me to the street food vendor selling different types of preserved fruit. We picked up a cone each of the sticky tamarind and ate it while walking. around picturesque Chaupati beach for a bit before sitting down to what we really came here for, Pav Bhaji. Pav Bhaji is a popular Mumbai dish of thick vegetable curry served with a soft bread roll, chopped onions and a wedge of lime. I asked Shailesh what his hypothetical last meal would be and he said Pav Bhaji. After trying it, I can certainly understand why. From the beach, we took a taxi to Chor Bazaar, otherwise known as Thieves Market. Legend has it that Queen Victoria once had her violin stolen on a visit to Mumbai before Mary Bombay. It was later found at this market which earned it its present day name. Today, there's a saying that if you lose something in Mumbai, then you can buy it back here at Chor Bazaar. Some people believe it, others don't, but Shailesh told me to keep my eye on my wallet anyway. We then made our way to the Muslim quarter to have grilled chicken kebabs. We made with ground chicken meat, herbs, and spices before being grilled over coals and served with a side of raw onion and lime wedges. The kebabs were delicious, soft, smoky, and very tasty, especially when spritzed with the lime and eaten with a sweet, crunchy raw onion. Not too far from the kebab stall was the last stop on tonight's tour, a heritage stall famous for making sancha ice cream. This type of ice cream gets its name from this device, sancha. Milk is poured into a sancha along with fruits, nuts, and other ingredients. Mixed with ice, the ingredients are then hand churned for 2-3 to three hours until the ice cream is firm and ready to eat. After I ate 2 cups of that delicious ice cream, we hopped into a bus and went back to the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus in the port area, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This historic Gothic building looked beautiful during the day, and it looked absolutely phenomenal right up at night. Shailesh and I would part ways here at the terminus to take the train home while I walked back to my hotel. As always, the chef's tour did a phenomenal job with this tour in Mumbai. I've been to many of their tours in Thailand and India, and they never disappoint. Aside from all that delicious local food, I got to ride the train, taxi, and bus between some of the city's most interesting neighborhoods. If you enjoy eating the best examples of local food when you travel, 
then I highly recommend going on this tour. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy traveling.